things seem to be running all right. We have 30 FPS being clocked, only 12% CPU utilization. What is going on? What's good guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. In just a few moments, I'm gonna be making my way to Best Buy to pick up this $200 laptop. Yes, that is considered cheap for a laptop, very, very cheap actually. <laughs> We're gonna be testing this device out on the new Windows 11 operating system to see if we can stream console gameplay through applications such as OBS in addition to seeing how well it can process inputs from a capture card. I wanna make sure we test all of these things out so that you guys don't have to waste your time and your money and your energy going out and buying a laptop and then you find out, well, this isn't the quality that I was expecting or wanting. My gut feeling before even picking up this laptop is that it's not going to run well. It's gonna be pixelated or laggy. It's just gonna be kinda of messy. But with that all being said, you wanna come with me to Best Buy? We, we gotta pick up this laptop. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you wanna come, I know you wanna come. Just, just come. This was my old vlog camera. Was a great camera to me until I got it stolen. <laughs> Yo, let's peep the microphone setup. They got the Blue Yeti, they got the Blue Yeti Nano. I mean, any of these mics here you can't go wrong with. They're all so good. Blue is so good. Stumbled upon the PlayStation 5 section. Of course, the stock, nothing, nothing at all, but they got the headsets in. Who knows if and when I'll ever see PlayStation 5s in stock at a store. Anyways, I'm getting like super sidetracked. Let's go and get this laptop. Let's meet the HP Stream laptop, which comes with 64 gigs of space, four gigabytes of RAM, and an Intel Celeron CPU with integrated Ultra HD graphics. So you can probably tell right off the bat that this laptop doesn't pack much of a punch, but we do have it running with the newest Windows 11 operating system. Some other features this laptop has is a web camera, three USB ports, which is pretty convenient, and an HDMI port. So before I just jump in and start testing this device out, I wanted to do a little sanity check. So I went on YouTube, played one of my videos back, and I saw that it was playing back smoothly, didn't have any laggy hiccups. So I was like, you know what? We can go to the next step. Next, I went ahead and downloaded a clean install of OBS and made sure that was up and running as it should. The recording and stream settings, I decided to go with a 1080p resolution video with the video bit rate set to 3,500 kilobits per second using the software encoder, which is your CPU. I also enabled the advanced encoder setting so that way I could set how fast my CPU encodes my video. The slower your encoding speed is, the more strain that's gonna be put on your computer's processor. So at least for this first test, I'm okay with setting my encoding speed to very fast. And now I first wanna test out if this computer can even handle recording. If it can't even handle recording, there's no way it's gonna be able to handle streaming. Now to begin the test, I went ahead and added a video capture device. Yes, there's my face. I know it's looking really pretty, but the focus here is adding the HD60S Plus as the device. So we selected that in the dropdown and just navigating the tab menus here in Fortnite, things seem to be running all right. We have 30 FPS being clocked, only 12% CPU utilization. What is going on? All right, let's hop into a game here and start recording. And doing just that, my CPU has spiked to 60, 70% plus, and then my FPS guys, we're like at a 10 to 15 average FPS. And if we're lucky, we might hit 20, but it's staying around the 15 FPS mark. And guys, just look at this footage. It's just, this is not what we want. So we're gonna have to adjust these settings a little bit. I decided to switch my video bit rate to 2,500 kilobits per second. The encoder preset I changed from very fast to ultra fast. And then for the video output resolution, we switched that to 720p. And now doing that, when just watching gameplay back without recording or streaming, you can see that we can actually hold that 30 FPS frame rate. But as soon as we start recording, this is when it starts to drop. Now it doesn't drop as much as it did before, but it's still not at a level we want. Like this footage, in my opinion, is just not proficient enough if you wanna be making quality content online nowadays. 
So now let's try this generic USB capture card. So I selected that in my video capture device dropdown, selected OK, and oh my God, guys. Oh, oh my God. We, we can barely crack seven FPS, man. This is just horrible. And we're looking at this at the minimum quality settings as well. At 720p, 2500 bit rate, ultra fast encoding preset. This is just not going to work. I'm at my last ditch effort here. So we're gonna test out the PlayStation Remote Play app with OBS on this computer as a window capture source. My initial look at this, things seem to look all right in the Remote Play app. But as soon as we get into a game, and we get into some movement, you can see that, you know, there's there's some blotchiness, some blurriness when like I'm turning around or there's, you know, more graphical stimulation happening on the screen. I mean, at least we're seeing all the frames, but what about if we add OBS into the mix now? Well, when we do that, you can see that OBS is obviously gonna pick up that blotchiness from the Remote Play app, but then it just keeps getting worse. So we press the record button and what is this, guys? Am I in an art museum? I mean, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, but I, this is not what we're going for. If you have a computer making your gameplay look like this in OBS, you're honestly better off just using the built-in recording and streaming functions that are on the PlayStation and your Xbox consoles. So now what was the main point of picking up this laptop then for 200 bucks if I knew it wasn't going to perform well for streaming and recording gameplay? Well, I, I really wanted to pick this up to show to you guys that it's important what kind of, <coughs> what got in my throat? It's important to understand the specifications of your computer. And those of you guys out there that have dual core CPUs, which are in a lot of older MacBooks, they're in a lot of even semi expensive computers, though it's not easy to find a good machine that will work for your needs, such as recording and streaming gameplay, and get it on a good price. But that's why I'm making this video here to give you guys a little bit of guidance and recommendations. This first laptop is also an HP laptop, but it has a Ryzen 5 CPU, which has six cores compared to the two that is in this Celeron chip that we were testing in this video. So you're already off the bat at a greater start. This has a 14 inch full HD display, as well as eight gigabytes of RAM. And I always advocate for more RAM, the better sometimes, depending on if you're trying to do a lot of things on the computer at the same time, but a minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM is needed if you're trying to do any of these sort of operations that we were testing today. Trust me, you're, you'll save a lot of headache if you have a little bit more RAM. The next laptop recommendation I have here for you guys is similar to the last one, and it's also from HP, but this is a 15 inch laptop with an Intel i5 processor. It's the 11th generation, and this processor has four cores but it also has the Intel Iris Z, is that you say, Z graphics. These graphics are integrated with the i5 processor, much like in my last laptop that I just showed you guys, the AMD Radeon graphics are integrated with the AMD Ryzen 5 chip. But in this case, with these graphics that you're getting with this Intel chip, it's going to be up to four times faster than the graphics that you're getting with the Intel Ultra HD on the Celeron chip. Now, along with that i5 chip and a little bit bigger display, you're also getting eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of SSD space. Between those two HP laptops that I showed you, you'll definitely get a good 720p using those devices. 1080p is gonna be pushing it a little bit, especially if you start adding overlays, it might be a bit much to put that all on the CPU, but you'll get a stream going in decent quality at least. The third recommendation I have here for you guys is the Gateway 14.1 inch ultra slim notebook, full HD display with an Intel Core i5 11th gen processor. It's actually the same processor as that other HP laptop that had the Intel processor in it. This also has the Intel Iris Xe graphics and 512 gigabytes of SSD and 16 gigabytes of RAM for the grand price of 430 dollars guys this this is the lowest you can get this laptop for and that is a great price which really puts this laptop at the top of my list for best budget compared to what kind of specs you're getting on the computer the fact that you're getting that 11th gen i5 along with 16 gigabytes of ram and extra ssd space that is huge compared to some of the other listings that we've seen that are above 500 and you're not even getting that much worth 
If you guys have a little bit more money to spend within your budget, then I would go for this laptop here for $660. It's the Lenovo IdeaPad 15.6 inch laptop. It has an AMD Ryzen 5 processor. Again, it has six cores. Uh, and this has the dedicated NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics. So you get a dedicated graphics card. You can literally run your streaming operations off of this card and that allows your CPU to have literally no load on it and you can do other things on your computer and multitask much easier at the same time while you're recording or streaming. This also has eight gigabytes of RAM, which is good, and 256 gigabytes of SSD space. For those of you guys watching saying, eh, I don't want a laptop, give me a desktop. All right, I got an affordable desktop for you. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit more, but guys, this is a beast for the price. This is the 2021 newest HP Pavilion gaming desktop computer, AMD six core Ryzen 5, again, eight gigabytes of RAM. You got the dedicated AMD Radeon RX 5500 graphics card. It also comes with 256 gigabytes of SSD space. And with these kind of computer towers, they're very easy to upgrade in case you wanna add additional storage to it. But those are my laptop and computer recommendations for you guys. If you're interested in any of them, check out the affiliate links below. If you're like, bro, I don't want any of these types of computers, then I would just say a good rule of thumb is to make sure you have a CPU with a quad core processor. There's so many computers out there with dual core, so please pay attention to that. Um, you want eight gigabytes of RAM, and if you can swing it, try to get a dedicated graphics card, but that definitely increases the price of the laptop or computer that you might be getting. But honestly, I can't wait for the day when we have entry level chips that are powerful enough to just stream gameplay, record, and just do all kinds of graphical work without needing something high end. Like, you know, like, why can't we get something awesome for 200 bucks? It, it was too good to be true. It, it really was. If you guys came to enjoy this video, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe it to the channel if you're new around here. Thank you guys so much for 100,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. Thank you guys so much. I, I love helping you guys and you guys enjoy watching. So that just makes this so much fun. Let me know if you guys would like me to do a little bit of a continuation of this video by setting up the cheapest running smooth stream setup possible. Not just with the computer, but with the microphone, the webcam, just all the components that you could put together. Fully functional, not like what you guys saw in this video from this laptop here. You're going back to the store, buddy. Like, that that's it. You, did, you, didn't, you didn't pass. <laughs> you, you failed. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.